they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear them. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Talk of the Town show. Yeah. Uh, I am your host, Enrique, and today we have somebody who's definitely been the talk of the town themselves this past year. We got the one and only, Nari Haran. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm good. Hurry, how are you? I'm good. I can't complain. I mean, it's a good day today. Yeah, it was a beautiful day out. Yeah. Sun touched my face, you know, nice little wind against the breeze in my hair. It was, uh, it was nice. I changed up from the clouds. Yeah, I got. I had a glasses appointment today, so I got oh, some word? new ones coming, and I'm getting rid of these, like you know, crooked ones. Nice. Right now. That label yeah. check it, huh? <laughs> hey man, yeah, <laughs> definitely. No, I was like, you. yo, let me fix my eyesight. Yo, heavy on it. <laughs> honestly, I'm not gonna blame you. I got terrible astigmatism, <laughs> so honestly, I gotta be on that wave. <laughs> So we're going to start off with rapid fire questions. I'm just yeah. going to ask you some questions and then just rapidly fire off your answers. I bet. Let's go. All right, cool. First one, which rapper would you not let date your daughter? Um, I, I don't know. It's a lot of them. I would say Kodak Black. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I agree with you. <laughs> you feel me? No offense. <laughs> okay. Celebrity crush. Tyler. Oh, Tyler. Okay. I thought you said Tyler. I was going to say, I mean, listen, <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Excuse me. Sorry. What, uh, <laughs> so now what is the worst song ever? Uh, probably. Damn, what? Like, I don't. That's a hard one because when I hear songs I don't like, I really don't like them and I try to force them on my brain. No, nah, I don't blame you. Like, uh, I don't know. That's a good one, yeah. So, oh, yeah, that's right. So, what is a, instead, what is a song that everybody likes but you don't like? I would say. Damn, that's tough. I ain't gonna lie. My mind going blank right now. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I would have to hear it. I would have to be in a party setting or something and be like, ah. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> what's an overrated song? What's an overrated song? Damn, I feel like that's kind of like the same thing, though. Okay, like, yeah, just different words. All right, you got it. My we'll bad, bro. I apologize. <laughs> You're good. What's the crazy... Okay, no, on the flip side, what's the best song ever? Uh, I like Happy by Pharrell. It's like no way I could actually be angry. Actually, no, you yeah. got a point. <laughs> uh, shit is iconic. <laughs> Why you tell you... <laughs> he said, this nigga. <laughs> what is the craziest DM you've ever gotten? Um, I haven't really gotten any crazy ones yet. It probably, like, it'll just be, like, you know, between a friend group chat. Gotcha. Really, you know, I'm not going to really expose well, nothing from now. No, you're good. But, I gotta you hope know. that doesn't leak. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite artist outside of hip-hop? Outside of hip-hop? Yeah. I, like... Raven Lynn Oh, okay. I like um, Michael Jackson, of course. Favorite artist of all time. Let me flip that because you don't really do hip hop. It's more so R and B. So, who's your favorite artist outside of R and B? Um, uh, I would say, you know, if we go on hip hop or rap, I would say Kendrick. Okay. Um. If we're going, well, you know, I listen to, I, I like, yo, Bob Marley. Bob Marley is up there. Okay. Um, and if I had to put a third. Girl, girl right? Uh, <laughs> dang, they, they go, like, I know a lot of women aren't. Be, oh, yeah, Meg, Meg the Stallion. I'm doing okay, that. nice. Yeah. Good pick. I agree with that. Right. <laughs> What, uh, what is the best thing about East New York? Oh, man, we're just such a beautiful black community. Like, just so unified. Um, you know, just everybody just genuinely cares about each other. Um, and, yeah, we're just progressing to, like, you know, just do better in the neighborhood. We got, like, we got our first juice bar, man. Nice. Got our first juice bar, so, yeah. Not bad. That's, like, you know. On the way up. Yeah. What is, what's the last thing you spent money on? Some terrible pizza. Damn, RIP. I apologize for that. <laughs> Some terrible pizza. What is a song you know every word to? B. 
Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Okay, classic. What is one artist you think should be performing that currently isn't? Lauren Hill. Mm, okay. Safe, but I agree. <laughs> what is a conspiracy you think is real? All of them. <laughs> right, you got it. <laughs> All right. And lastly, what is your dream car? Track hawk. A Jeep Grand oh. Cherokee track hawk. Yeah. Oh, okay. You said, tra- I thought you said like trap hawk. Oh, nah, nah, yeah, nah, 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 <laughs> nah. Trap really hawk. Like. Okay, got you. Um, all right, yeah, no, that concludes rapid fire questions. So let's get into it. All righty. So, hurry. Well, you had quite the year last year. Mm-hmm. You uh, dropped Beyonce, which is arguably one of the biggest local songs mm-hmm. in the area. Um, and you also got signed to Arista Records, right? Yes, sir. Nice. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Um, like, you know, the confidence is at a high right now. I'm recording music at a comfortable rate. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm really focused in, like, you know, just exploring what I can do when I get in the booth now, like, more than ever. Like, you know, just the creative freedom. It feels good. Um, so, you know, just speaking on certain topics, testing my voice in certain ways, working mm-hmm. with certain people who help me push my voice in ways that I haven't before. It's pretty good. Nice. Okay. So now that you are with a label, what do you think has been the main difference between doing stuff independently and then having that label help? Oh, yeah. It, like, doing things independently, especially, like, you know, before I had management or, like, just te- people, like, a team around me who wanted to help support and do certain things for me. Mm-hmm. Um, it was harder because, like, I didn't know, like, as much that I had to put into it, into it besides, like, recording and dropping music. And, like, um, you know, everything was really, like, just on me. And I'm not the most, like, I don't keep up with stuff the best. So it's just, like, you know, sometimes it was just going as it came or, like, when I really felt the most um, influenced by music, that's when I would have the most drive of, like, you know, mm-hmm. keeping track of certain things and stuff like that. But other than that, I was just doing stuff, like, on the go, like, in terms of performances and stuff like that now. But I'm able to, like, schedule things more so. Okay. And, yeah, it's just more. It's, it's very, It feels good, you know? Nice. It feels good. It's elevating. With you being on a label now, like, how does that work exactly? Do they, like... Do they, can, do they have, like, creative control over you, or is it more so, like, a partnership? Nah, it's like a partnership, honestly. Um, they trust me mm-hmm. to make the music and paint a di- or, like, you know, create a direction or a path for myself. So it's just, like, you know, yeah. just letting me do my thing. Um, letting me, like, you know, I, I'll, I, I'll compare it to, like, I don't know, starting a fire. Like, okay. letting me spark something, and then they just will throw certain things into it to just, like, you know, ignite it more and more. Gotcha. Um, so it's like a support system, like, you know, mm-hmm. just, you know, wanting to see me win one, like, yeah, want to see me win. And, uh, not also on top of that though, like, you know, teaching me certain things like marketing strategies, yeah. you know, ways to get myself out there and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's just becoming a real student of the game now because like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that's so, pretty cool. No, I thank you for the transparency too, because I feel like, um, it's not every case. But we'll see people who go from, like, these local stars, uh, become burgeoning stars, and then all of a sudden get signed. And at first it'll be like, oh, I finally got the deal. And then, like, a month or two later, they'll be like, oh, fuck my label. They're not letting me do this. They're not letting me do that. I wish I never signed. So it's nice to see that there's still, like, um, there's still good labels out there, if you will. Yeah. So um, uh, with that being said, how long have you been making music for, actually? Let me backtrack a little bit. This year is going to make seven. Nice. So, yeah. And was Beyonce the first song you dropped? No. Nah. So, when did you start dropping music? Seven years ago. Oh, you started dropping so, music yeah, seven years yeah. ago? Yeah, yeah. Once I first started recording, I was dropping. Okay. So, yeah. Was it always R&B or was it more like just other, other type of genres? Yeah, it was always a mix. It was always a mix. Like, from the beginning. Mm-hmm. I kind of I always was just jumping from beat to beat, like sound to sound. Never really just put myself in one pocket, but, like, that kind of created a pocket for me, kind of, like, you know, where people just knew, like, the beats that I like to record on, like, just my style or my vibe or melody. Yeah. And, like, that kind of created, like, a little sound for me. Okay. So, let's fast forward to Beyonce. Did you think the track was going to go off like it did when you were making it? Yes and no. Like, you know, when I record every song, it's just, like, 
when, when I record every song, it's like, you know, I, I see this going somewhere. Like, I think that, you know, I've said it for mad songs, like, this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. Yeah. But then after a while of being wrong about <laughs> that, like, you know, it's just playing that humble. Like, you know, I'm going to just make good music and let it do what it do. And so that's what that, that's what happened there. Nice. Yeah. What was, uh, what was it like hearing it go off in the club for the first time or in the spot and seeing people like actually enjoy your music, you know, like watching it in real time? Oh man, it was awkward. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. But I grew into it. Like, you feel me? I got comfortable. Yeah. But like, yeah, it was cool because that was just the first time, like, you know, I just really seen people. I always seen people appreciate my, my art, like, you know, for the most part, like, just, you know, little by little. But like, you know, seeing it speed up like that was, it was like, damn. Yeah, uh, because honestly, like from a consumer and like music journalist point of view, it was like I went from honestly not hearing the song to hearing it everywhere. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was just like, it's like, well, where did this come from? And I got to say, it's, you know, nice bop. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what would, um, uh, why Beyonce, you know? Because, like, I was just looking for, like, certain creative titles, and I didn't like how anything, any certain lyric from the song just looked as a title, and I was just like, whatever, like, just Beyonce. Yeah. And I figured, like, you know, people would click on it, too, like, just be interested. Mm -hmm. Some people would look at it and be like, you know, some people wouldn't want to listen to it just because it's probably titled Beyonce, but then there's somebody, some people who would really want to click it because it's like, oh, this better be good, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> stuff like that, so... You know, it's just like, you know, make the song good. I like to have a title that is like eye catching. Like, you know, we'll have people interested in stuff like that. So, yeah. No disrespect to Beyonce, please. No, no, no. All, we all fans here. We all, I'm a Beehive member, proud. Facts. We love Queen B. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I haven't heard anything from Beyonce, but I went to her concert. Oh, yeah? Oh, you That's went to the cool. Renaissance store? Yeah. Nice. How was that? It was pretty cool. Uh, it was my favorite concert ever, actually. It was crazy. I was like, I, I'm not going to lie. It was probably the first time I was starstruck. Word? I was standing up for a large majority mm -hmm. at a time. So. Understandable. Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, 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 no. You good. I was standing up for a large majority at the time, though. Like, it was crazy. I couldn't. Like, you know. <laughs> shoot, it was cool. Yeah, no. Nah, I've never actually, uh, I haven't had the pleasure of seeing a Beyonce show, but I know mad people who went. So it definitely looked like, she looked like an event. Yeah, I mean, she opened the concert with um, Dangerously in Love. Oh, okay. And like, oh, yo, that was crazy. It was crazy. Outfit, <laughs> song, set, it was crazy. Damn, that was tough. So with, with R&B kind of being like the thing that people know you for, do you plan on venturing outside of that genre a little more? Like... With, with releases or kind of just tampering with it behind the scenes? Um, yeah, of course. Like, I have music outside of R&B already. Mm -hmm. I've been having music outside of R&B, like, you know, for years and stuff like that. But for now, I'm kind of just dropping, like, you know, what feels the most comfortable just in terms of, like, you know, yeah, where I want to take my story. Like, or just, you know, how much of myself I want to give to people at the moment. Like, just song by song, like, you know. Yeah. Um, since it's just like, you know, since I'm only like three songs in, you know, it's more, I have, I feel like I have more control over like, you know, just what I'm building or like how people are able to like, you know, build that image of me through my, my art. Yeah, no, nah, very true. You, like people only have, but so many like frames of reference for your work. So they can't really like put you in one box or the other, you know? Yeah. Damn, that's pretty cool. Um, so do you think that R&B is on the comeback? Yeah. Yeah. I like... <clears throat> I like um, how it's like a fusion of older R&B like melodies or even beat patterns, drum patterns and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But there's still like that new vibe to it kind of. I don't know how to explain it, but I like how like, you know, it's kind of taking a step back and a step forward at the same time. Yeah. Like, you know, I think that's a good, a good place for it. It's doing well. I'm just hearing more and more songs that have like that old, like, you know, bounce to it, but it still sounds fresh and new, so... Yeah, no, nah, most definitely. New York is a, there's a whole lot of sounds rocking around New York right now. Uh, you know what, let me ask you about one that's pretty popular. Uh, how do you feel about Sexy Drill? I mean, I fuck with it. Yeah. Like, you feel me? I mean, shit. Throw that on in the club. Everybody about to have a good time. Like, you feel mm -hmm. me? It's hard not to have a good time to that. 
So you feel me? Shout out Cash. I fuck with Cash. It was definitely fuck with Vontae the singer. You feel me? Yeah, yeah not for real. Shout out Cash. You feel me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault, my fault. <laughs> my fault. But you feel me? I got to shout out Matthew Ali, too. Shout out. Shout them out. Gabe, everybody over there on the radar. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The whole, whole Slizzy Mafia. Not for real. Shout out on the radar. And everybody over there, all the Slizzies, every Slizzy, every Slizzy guy, every Slizzy girl, all of them. <laughs> nah, um, I ask because this is something that like I've said in like the comments on posts and shit too. But for me, like, hot take here. I don't know. People like don't really agree with me. But I feel like Sexy Drill is such an interesting name because what I see as like a hallmark of drill sound are like those like sliding drums, you know, mm-hmm. like they show you here in Bronx Drill or UK drill, um, or like, you know, most forms of drill for that matter. Even I Spice has those in her songs, mm-hmm. most of them. But I saw someone else say uh, that it's the hi-hat pattern that is what makes it drill. Nah, I don't even think it's just the drums or the instrumental, but it's like, it's also the style. Like, regular drill is aggressive, you know? Mm-hmm. They're trying to get their point across in terms of like, you know, violence and stuff like that. Yeah. But sexy drill is just like flirting. Like, sometimes it's aggressive, you're getting your point across like that. So it's like, instead of being aggressively violent, it's like aggressively horny. Yeah. I, I, bet. That, <laughs> I think that's what it is. Like, you know, it's not just the beat. It's bigger than the beat. It's okay. the beat and the artist. So, yeah. All right, but, no, nah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Sexy Drill. I got uh, Too Sussy, Too Sexy on all my like songs, on my playlist. So don't come for me, please. <laughs> uh, do you feel like you make Sexy Drill music? Not necessarily, honestly. Like, you feel me? I do make flirty, flirty music, flirtatious music, but I think it's, like, you know, more so in the R&B pocket right now. Mm-hmm. Like, Sexy Drill is definitely its own genre, for sure. Um, and, you know, I don't think I'm necessarily making that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no, I think that's a fair statement, too. I really, I wouldn't label it that, because it's, um, there's, like, a, it's, like, a different pocket of energy, you know? Like, not to say that your music isn't good in comparison to it, but they're, like, kind of two different moods, you know? Yeah. Like, you got the groove going on, which is a bit of, like, a slower type groove, but it's very, like, very much get-in-the-mood music, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and then it's, like, the Sexy Drill is kind of, like, the raucous version of that, you know? That's, like, ba 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 that you just want to, like, shake ass to in the club. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not me, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chick. <check. laughs> <laughs> my fault. Oh, excuse me. My fault. Um, so we kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but what music do you listen to outside of R&B or outside of hip hop, you know, outside of like the hallmarks of what people like typically listen to, I feel like in the city? I like pop music, um, mm-hmm. house, like house pop, stuff like that. Um, I might listen to like a couple rock songs from WWE wrestling <laughs> games, from old games. Okay. I'll um, fuck with that. But like, like you know, just yeah, I like like house pop. Pink Panthers makes good music, you know. My Everybody man likes Kate Trinata. Agreed. Um, I'm trying to think of who else though. Like that's just like you know the cliche names I could think of at the moment. <laughs> Nothing to take away from them, but like you know that's what everybody's gonna say when they think of like a hyper pop or stuff like that. Yeah, very true. Or whatever you categor- like you know just whatever. However you want to categorize their music. Um. But you know, I listen to a couple songs from the internet. Uh, Tanache. Okay. Kelly Yukis? Yes. Yeah. You know? Yes. A man so, of culture. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Bruno Mars, though. Like, a mad people. I like Go a to, lot of, you know. You, uh, you fuck with T Swift? I'm not a Swifty, but I don't okay. have anything against her. Okay. No, I feel that. I'm not a Swifty either. You think, uh, you think she deserved that album? That album of the year win or no? You know, I don't know if she's ever won album of the year. So if she hasn't she has. ever, if she has? Yeah, four times. Oh, well, this shit. being the fourth. Damn. Then I don't know. They could have gave that to Beyonce. That's a fact. It wasn't bigger than Renaissance, man. People were mad that SZA didn't get it. Yeah, a lot of people were mad that SZA didn't get it. Um, SZA should have got it. You said should have? She should have got it. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, what's it called? Damn, I definitely had a question I was going to ask uh, in relation to that. Oh, uh, did you hear about uh, Jay's speech at the Grammys? Yeah. What do you think about that? It was mad funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was mad funny. I like, and I, you know, for me, I don't know. I just, like, certain celebrities, that delivery to me, like, you know, I just, I love a, a good delivery. Like, just, you, I could tell he was in his bag, you know, and he was defending his woman. 
And I was Absolutely. just like, you know, shit like that is like, you feel me? It's respectable and respectably funny to like watch, like you feel me? Because like I'm not even laughing at him, like I'm just, I'm just spectating, like you feel me? Yeah. PG checking the Grammys, like. Oh, nah, real shit. At the Grammys, nonetheless. So that's like, it's definitely a, so, it's a boss move for sure. Yeah, some some Jay Z shit. Okay. Yeah. I shout bet. out, shout out, my A and R Chris Riddick for winning a Grammy with SZA. You know, for the Grammy that she did win. You know, they should have got that album of the year, but they walked out of there with that. They did that. Yeah, Grammy. not for real. Uh, you know, a Grammy's better than no Grammy, so I, I would take it. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so we're going to play one last game, and this one is called Music Library. Mm -hmm. So it's just like situational or scenarios in which you would put on this song. Okay. So the first one is you're about to go outside. Um, I'm about to go outside, and I'm probably putting on... Hypnos by Raven and Nay. Okay. Thinking about where I'm from. <laughs> deep in the night. <laughs> what about when you're about uh, to clean? When I'm about to clean, probably put on some Bob Marley. Okay, calm. Uh, uh, <laughs> is this love, to be specific? Is this love, is this love, is this? Yeah, yeah. When, you're, when you're wiping down your windows, that's what you want to hear? Yeah, or right, mopping, cool. sweeping, stuff like that. Type shit, that's awesome. What uh? What about when unexpected money hits your account? <laughs> I'm probably playing um, "So Far Gone" by Drake. That's what oh. I'm for there. Honestly, I would have thought some shit like. Um, I just really hope that you think of me, <laughs> cause I'm trying to be unforgettable. I use auto tune sometimes. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Every now and then. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Uh, do you be using auto tune or you just sing as is? I be using the hardest auto tune. I need all of it. 100. I, I be using two auto tune plugins. Oh, word. Gotta give them the sauce or not? <laughs> yeah, I be using two on one vocal chain. Okay. Nah, I mean, I like auto tune. I feel like it's really useful, you mm -hmm. know, and especially when you use it properly could really enhance your voice or give you like a sound you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Yeah, you know, like you could know how to sing, and but like not really be on that level and use auto-tune just as a polisher. Like you don't really need that much, so. Not for real. So do you feel like oh, you know I how to sing? I didn't really say all that. I could, I could have a little note, but I know how to control my voice enough to like, you know, wave the auto-tune. Okay. All right, but. Yeah. So I'm um, uh, sorry. Gotta get oh, the last one. Should started from the bottom, my fault. Yeah, it's at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So what about when you get cheated on? God forbid. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's what I gotta say. What song would you play though? Oh, what song would I play? Yeah, what song would you play? Um Fuck my ex. Fuck my ass. <laughs> what about what was on um, for the dogs deluxe? The last song. I should drop a name. Yeah, no, I definitely forgot the name of the song, but yeah, okay, I got you. <laughs> All right, what about when you're in the car with your mom? In the car, with my mom playing. On and on and on and on, we talk for days. I make it clear. Let, me, let mom hit a new single. Yeah, well, it sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> What about, uh, what is a song that represents your school career? My school? Yeah, your school, your school career. Did you go to college? Um, yeah, first semester. Okay, I feel you. I love that. A song, a song that defines that would be like anything off of Pierre Bourne, The Life of Pierre Four. Okay. I was bumping that whole project throughout, like around that time. So you could take any song off of there for real. Nice. What about when you need hope? When they hope, yeah, I'm probably listening to like old Kanye, mm. Michael Jackson, Bob Marley, Kendrick, or myself. You got a specific song? Oh, specific song, yeah. I got, I got. Look at me, I'm not even keeping track of the game, yo. <laughs> you go for door. I would say, um, a specific song for hope is like, uh, All Falls Down, Kanye West. Mm, okay, nice, good pick. All right. When uh, when someone tells you to play Hurry Haran's best song. Nine times out of ten, it's unreleased. Bold. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm terrible at this. <laughs> oh, out of what's released? Um, on and on the EP version. Oh, the EP version. Okay. Oh, three tracks. Okay. <laughs> I would, I would say on and on. Everything is up to date. It be, it's better. Okay. Up to date. I would play Beyonce. But like, you know, my best song. I would. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> you know, my out of my personal feelings, yeah. Okay. I like when. And then, what are you playing? When you're about to go meet up with the link, sneaky, regular. I'm choice. playing. Damn, I said that confident like I knew. <laughs> um, <laughs> I said that confident. I'm probably gonna play. Um, Reminder by the weekend. Ooh, nice. Yo, one of my favorite songs. I fuck with that song heavy. Good Every pick. Every time you try to forget yeah. who I, I am. am. I'll be right there yeah. to remind you again. It's a swag song. Okay. It's a swag song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, and lastly, what do we have to look forward to, you know, in 2024? New year, new hurry, right? Singles, 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 EP. Single, 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 EP? Yeah. All right, bet. You for sure dropping a project. Yeah. All right, bet, because we've had many people come up here and tell us they were dropping a project that year, and that was last year. This is easy, though. <laughs> this is easy. Yeah? This is planned strategic work okay <laughs> all right but hurry uh thank you so much man for coming out here i really appreciate it thank you thank um you. tell the people where they can find you you'll find me everywhere facebook instagram twitter myspace aol hotmail everything at hurry haran h-u-r-r-i-h-a-r-a-n one more time h-u-r-r-i-h-a-r-a-n Thank <laughs> you.